Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Mooney, coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen 2019. This is my first episode for the year. I'm going to come up with something very simple, and that's my focus for the whole year this year. Simple food that you can make at home. We're going to start by this delicious chicken dish that's going to be serving four people. Just a handful of ingredients with this chicken. It's all done in one tray. We're going to use a baking tray for this. We're going to marinate everything, mix it together with some lovely herbs, keep it nice and fresh and vibrant. I'm going to use some grapeseed oil for this. You can also use some olive oil if you wish. Okay, come on guys, let's get cooking for the first recipe coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen in 2019. Now let's have a look at the ingredients. I've got two chicken breasts. All I've done with these is I've washed them and I've dried them. I've patted them dry with some paper towel. Now you can use any vegetables of your choice. I'm going to use some beautiful pumpkin, which I've diced up into about an inch thick. Some green beans and all I've done is top and tail them and I've got some red capsicum. Now for quantities, I've got one whole red capsicum. We've got about four cups of pumpkin and about four bunches of the beans, enough for four people. I'm gonna use some grape seed oil. I'm also gonna use some fennel seeds and I'm gonna use some baby basil, beautiful fresh baby basil. I've got about three Desiree potatoes, medium to large size. I'm gonna slice them really quite thin because I want them to cook all around about the same time as the chicken. So just fan them out like that. Okay, so now we've got all our ingredients together. It's as simple as this. It doesn't get any easier. We're just gonna put these now onto a tray and I'll show you what to do. So grab your potatoes and they're already sliced. We wanna fan those out. Just give them a bit of space between each other. So now we're gonna mix some grapeseed oil in with our pumpkin. Just toss this around and then that goes on the tray as well. And we're going to add the same amount, a little bit of grapeseed oil on with our capsicum. Give that a turn around there, make sure they're all nice and coated. And we're going to put a line of that through as well. Now with our beans, we're going to do exactly the same thing. You just want to toss those around. You want to squeeze them up a little bit. And then last but not least, we want our chicken breast here. And you want to do the same thing again with that. Just touch of the oil over there and just give it a bit of a massage in, turn it around so it doesn't stick on the bottom when you put it on that tray. Now with the potatoes I'm going to drizzle over some of that grapeseed oil. I want to sprinkle some fennel seed onto the potatoes only, maybe half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and just sprinkle them over the potatoes. Now we've got our chicken breast and we're going to put that at the end. All on the tray, same tray together. A little bit of sea salt on the chicken. We'll add some cracked black pepper on the chicken. And I want to add some of this beautiful baby basil. I'm just going to tear some off and we're just going to chop a little bit of this. and we want to sprinkle that over the chicken. And I just want to put a little bit more oil on the top there. So guys, it doesn't get easier than this. A beautiful Desiree potato sliced, lovely pumpkin, some capsicum and some beans. And you can alternate this. You can put any raw vegetable you like. Now this is going to go into a 190 degree oven and we want to cook this for about 45 minutes but you need to keep an eye on it, all right? You need to turn these every, every now and again. Let's get it into the oven and we'll have ourselves a beautiful dinner for four. It's had about 30 minutes in the oven. It's now time to give it a bit of a turn. So turn all your vegetables so that they don't get too brown on one side. Potatoes you can kind of leave there. You just might need to base a little bit of that liquid and I'll show you just a little bit of that liquid just over the potatoes like that. All right, back into the oven guys. 
won't be too long now. Now when you have a look at that, the smell is absolutely amazing. You've got this beautiful chicken. Look at the skin, look at the skin. It's nice and crispy, beautiful and crispy. Vegetables are perfectly cooked, nice and soft. Potatoes are a little bit crispy on the side and they're also nice and soft. All right, so now we're gonna plate this up. Slice that chicken, beautiful. Crispy skin on that chicken and also the meat is absolutely delicious. We have some of our beautiful potatoes. Those on the side here. Some of these nice green beans. Some lovely capsicum. And some of this pumpkin. And I'm sure that you would agree that this is a beautiful dish. It's very, very simple to make. It's almost like a roast dinner. If you want to make gravy with this, you can do it. I kind of like it as it is plain and simple. I hope you give this recipe a try. If you want time saved in the kitchen, go and have a shower and then come back to this a wonderful, easy, easy dish. I promise you it works every single time. Have yourselves a great week. I will see you on my next recipe.